here, and you can just go ahead and keep with me. Um, one of the things that we talked about in the submission was that, uh, well, you know what? I'll let Aubrey talk about this. We'll come back out here in the modern and contemporary galleries on the third floor of the Hamilton building. And one of the most significant art pieces as part of that experience is uh, a piece by Jennifer Steinkamp called uh, Rock Formation and uh, was specially commissioned for this space. And we'll walk down here and take a closer look at it. And I'll let Aubrey talk about it a little bit. Aubrey? So what we have here is uh, artwork by Jennifer Steinkamp. Um, and while this is uh, an installed piece of artwork, and so uh, we did not create it, um, the uh, technology team here at the museum had a, what I think is an unusual relationship with it. Um, when it was, it's a custom piece, it was designed for this space, um, and uh, we commissioned it for the space. So when uh, Jennifer came here to install it, uh, the technology team had to do a lot of work with Jennifer, uh, getting it installed in the space. From hanging the projectors uh, in the exact way that they have to be in order for this projection to work. There's three projectors um, that are projecting this, and they have a seamless uh, projection across them. Um, and not only that, in working with Jennifer, we uh, discussed some good ways that she was doing things and, and perhaps some ways that we could do it better based on some of the other work we were doing in the museum. So it's quite possible in the future she might even change her process because of the experience of installing this here at the Denver Art Museum. In particular, things that were tricky was that this wall has an incredibly unusual geometry. And uh, it was, you know, it took a lot of back and forth with Jennifer to figure out when and how to hang these and then also because this is actually all pre-rendered material, was how to, how to change the geometry of the pre-rendered material to make sure it actually fit the space. And you can see the, the, source of the, the source of projection exactly hits the top surface of the wall, top corner of the ceiling, and then flows almost perfectly to the floor and also overlap pretty well. The way in the future we'd probably end up doing this, and, and this is what Aubrey was alluding to with Jennifer, was how to do this in real time rather than having pre-rendered material that's then artificially composited in, say, something like After Effects or something like that we'll be able to do this in real time in an open GL sort of environment. Not, not so unlike the experience that you saw down in the Sprint Gallery where we've custom fit a live experience into that triangular wall space. So uh, similar executions, different experience. Uh, probably important here is to recognize that we had a relationship with an artist that was deeper and intimate. So rather than just doing technology in service of individual installations or didactic purposes or the education staff or design staff, we make it all. We do it all with, uh, with the artist as well and throughout the whole museum.